What's going on guys, Challenge here, and today I want to make a video discussing some big issues so far in Call of Duty Modern Warfare's multiplayer. You know, some things that Infinity Ward needs to address sooner than later if, you know, this game wants to thrive, or just, you know, maintain a strong player base. Now again, some of these issues are not actually that serious, but again, some people might get frustrated and not want to play this game if these aren't resolved in, let's say, within the month, or at least a, within a month of launch. Now on to, you know, number one for me, we can definitely say camping is an issue, but I don't think it's too much of an issue currently. If camping persists two, three months from the launch of this game, then Infinity War needs to step in and see what they can do to, you know, reduce this. Now one fix I have is reducing the effectiveness of Ghost. Ghost in this game, you have it on, you don't need to move, you pretty much are unseeable. So I think they need to change that perk for, you know, you need to activate it by staying on the move i think that'll be a better way to utilize the perk and make it maybe not so crunchy i mean again people running gunning will definitely want to run ghosts but again i think it'll get people moving because if they you know they don't have to move for ghosts they're not going to move so that's one little fix but in general i just think people are just getting accustomed to the maps because these maps are designed much differently than the three lane maps they're very open you can use many different routes across in between the maps so people are unfamiliar with this flow of the style, so they're taking it slow. And on top of that, you know, when a game comes out, a Call of Duty comes out, everybody is worried about their KD within the first two months of this game. So, again, that's why I say give it two, three months, see if camping persists, if it becomes an overlying issue. But on to number two, the M4A1. Now, this is certainly the biggest issue on the list, in my opinion, because this honestly breaks the really well-done gun balance of Infinity Ward, how they did with this game. And the reason is that I have not found a gun so far that can literally beat the M4A1 if shot first. Like again, every gun has their pros and their cons, but the M4 seems to have zero cons. It is highly accurate, it is hard hitting, has a fast reload, you know, and is like rate of fire is pretty damn good. There is literally no con to the M4A1. Now again, maybe people are just saying, hey, they're realistic. The M4A1 is just a really good gun in real life. Yes, but at the same time, guns in video games are designed to have pros and cons. You know, if you look at Battlefield 4 with DICE and what they did at that, there was a rock, paper, scissors, you know. ARs are pretty good, SMGs are pretty good, LMGs are good, snipers are good, but they were all good at certain things. Maybe the ARs were a little bit more balanced, like more powerful than other weapons, but in general, you can use other weapons and be highly successful in that game. Now, the reason I'm using the DICE's Battlefield 4 is because it's honestly one of the few times I felt guns were properly balanced in a video game but again that's just my take on gun balance so nerfing the M4A1 what can they do maybe increase the recoil maybe reduce the damage you know do something to make this gun not as powerful as it is because again seems like 90% of lobbies are using the M4A1 and it kind of discourages you to not using it because if you're playing at a disadvantage all the time you're not going to be having fun you're not going to be getting kills and you're going to be Getting thrown around the map, and nobody wants that, so obviously you're going to pull out the M4. I've been trying to use different guns, but if it's just not working, I really switch the M4 just to bring back my KD and just see if we can pull the game back to a victory. Now, at number three, Claymores. Now, this is an issue I had when the game, you know, in my beta video, three annoying things in the Call of Duty beta. Claymores are still an issue. They are extremely fast, they blow up, and they are mini nukes. Like, there is an issue sometimes where, like, the, the, the claymore doesn't blow up, and, like, you can walk past it, and you shoot at it. When that happens, I tend to, tend to just void that claymore altogether. If I see a claymore glitched out like that, I just do not go anywhere near it. But again, also, too, with the power of it, you can't even, like, kind of destroy it anywhere near it. You need to be really far or behind it, which is kind of pointless, because most of the time when you notice a claymore, you're, it's about to kill you, technically and you just stopped it. So again, I don't understand a Claymore, it basically just outburst all the explosion energy forward. So in that sense, it's realistic. It shouldn't really do, it doesn't really do any damage from behind. But at the same time, this is a video game and they can do some serious damage from a distance. And the lasers don't even properly line up. Line up. You can trigger it and you're pretty screwed. So again, Claymores are pretty much a crutch tactical, not crutch, a, cr a, a, cl a crutch lethal equipment right now. Everyone's running claymores. You gotta put claymores. It's almost a free kill at this point. You put it in a route where someone has to go through. You'll get a free kill. They won't even see it. And even the perk that notifies you, the sit rep of these claymores, you can even you can barely see it too. So again, 
Then you are needs to make these maybe not so strong, reduce the blast radius, and make them the lasers a bit more visible to see and notice from the naked eye. Last but not least, this is another you know complaint I had with beta that is translated into the launch of this game so far, and that is domination. Spawn trapping and domination has seemingly taken an all-time high in terms of just you know not feeling balanced. There's many times where like I've been held to one point in a game of domination. And uh, the, the UK map, I forgot the name of it, I can't even pronounce it technically, but uh, that map is really unbalanced in terms of points. C and B are really close to each other, and A is pretty damn far. Now again, I understand that they want to take a realistic approach and you know make these maps you know, not so symmetrical, but in Domination, I do feel like symmetrical maps are a little bit needed. Now I'm not knocking the map design, but I do think maybe they should adjust the positioning of the C point, maybe move it more back. Because again, the map seems symmetrical in terms of design of, you know, roads, but the the, uh, the flag placement does not seem symmetrical at all. Again, C's flag is literally like 40 meters away from B flag, and the A flag is about 80 meters away from the B flag. That is not balanced. That is like literally almost over half of the distance. So making domination fall into that category, you need to make the flag placements a little bit more symmetrical than they already are. Than they are not because I mean I don't know why I said they are, but they're not symmetrical at all. So again, at least the spawn trapping, and again, some maps have better placements of like you know the bridge map, you know the that UK map. You can seriously get spawn trapped. Uh, the peak map, I forget the name of that one is. Those maps I've been spawn trapped significantly from pretty much the same side. You need to find a way to not only maybe reduce the, the distance they can get to the flag before flipping the spawns because I do think they can get a little bit closer to the flag before flipping the spawns and it's highly, highly frustrating when you gang spawn trap. But again, these are just my four issues so far with Modern Warfare, the game, the multiplayer. They need to fix these. I don't think it's game breaking. I think the M4 is pretty much the biggest problem on this list. But again, these are just my opinions, these are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Do you, What do you like about this game? What do you not like about this game? Do you agree with my issues? Do you find issues yourself that I did not present? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplays, tips, news, discussion videos like this. But until next one, guys, hope you guys have a good one. Shout out to you here, and I'm out.